We headed to Thrift Dam in the Eastern Cape to catch monster trout on the fly. These fish were taking very aggressively. Conditions were beautiful, just besides for a bit of wind and some freezing temperatures at night. So I've just finished cleaning the fish and uh, it's a bit windy so I've brought them inside to our clubhouse and I'm going to prepare them for the, the cold smoke we're going to do tonight. Uh, this is a very simple process and it just requires salt, some warm water and then just to score the fish before you pour the warm water in. So I'll show you, show you how to do that. So I've got the salt here. I'm going to put it in a cup and then the kettle's already been boiled. Um, this just helps with dissolving it because of the large amount of salt that we're using. Let me just get the hot water quick. To cure the meat you're going to need a lot of salt so it almost needs to be enough salt to not actually fully dissolve properly into the water and then we're going to pour it over the fish but not before we've scored them so I'm just going to let that dissolve a bit. Now that the salt is dissolving I'm going to grab these two beauties and I'm going to score them. I'm just going to make three cuts on either side. Uh, this just allows the salt water to get soak in better and cure the meat because there's more surface area. When you cut, you need to make clean cuts all the way to the spine. There's one done. The end result is you want your fish looking like this. Okay, now it's time to add the brine. Uh, get a container that the fish can fit in. Uh, you don't really need to soak the head or the tail. So just the main torso of the fish. I'm just going to pour the salt water in. And then I'm going to fill it up with a bit more water until the fish is completely covered. You should preferably leave it for up to a day, but I don't think these bad boys are going to last even the night. So, yeah, I'll show you guys later when we cook and eat them. Okay, I'm going to go put these bad boys in the fridge now. Okay, now that the fish have been in the, the fridge soaking in the brine, we're going to get them on the smoker. We've also soaked the wood chips. Uh, it's not the most appetizing thing. Looks similar to actually brandy and coke, but don't worry, it's not. And yeah, we're going to get them on the smoker and I'll show you guys how to do that now. 
So I'm gonna start by putting the wood chips in. I've just strained them and yeah. Okay, now that we've smoked the trout, I'm gonna pass it around for the bra starter, but before I can do that, I've gotta have a taste to make sure it's the right. That's delicious. Mm. Well done, Heath. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks for watching Catch Cook. Hope you enjoyed it and please like and subscribe below.